Meet the new M230 LF, America's 30 millimeter chain gun system. The M230 is a remarkable piece of engineering that's played a pivotal role in modern military technology. Moreover, the M230 has emerged as a defining weapon in the context of the global war on terror. Mounted beneath Apache gunship helicopters, it's provided crucial fire support to U.S. troops across various theaters of combat engagement. The M230 is a single-barrel, externally-powered, electrically-fired, chain-driven weapon. It fires 30-millimeter linkless ammunition at a cyclic rate of around 625 rounds per minute, making it a formidable force on the battlefield. This larger caliber allows it to deliver a more powerful punch and effectively penetrate targets. With a projectile muzzle velocity of 805 meters per second, it boasts an effective firing range of 1,500 meters and a maximum firing range extending up to 4,000 meters. The M230 is capable of firing lightweight 30 millimeter rounds, M788 target practice, M789 high explosive dual purpose, M799 high explosive incendiary used by the U.S. Army, which are distinct from the 30 by 113 mm rounds used in the Aden and Defa cannons. The M789 ammunition is a primary tactical round for the Apache AH-64 helicopter, known for its precision and minimal collateral damage. The M799 round is not used due to safety concerns. Regarding ammunition capacity, the Apache can carry up to 1,200 rounds. Loading this ammunition into the AH-64D Longbow Apache is handled by armament personnel using an aircraft-mounted motorized loader and a dedicated ammunition handling tray. M230 LF For the last 25 years, the M230 Bushmaster chain gun held the spotlight as the premier weapon used on the AH-64 Apache helicopter. Today, its descendant, the M230 LF, represents a new adaptation of medium-caliber cannons for ground vehicles. The M230 LF, offered by Orbital ATK, is a more capable version of the chain gun, featuring an anti-hang fire system, a delinking feeder for linked ammunition, and an extended length barrel. These improvements result in increased muzzle velocity and hitting power using the same M789 and NATO standard 30mm projectiles. The rate of fire is reduced to 200 rounds per minute. Combat veterans experienced such a high success rate with the M230 from the air, they requested a ground variant of this 30mm by 113mm solution. This is what prompted the engineering team at Northrop Grumman to develop the M230 LF, said John McCullum, Director of Business Development for Bushmaster Chain Guns. Northrop Grumman's medium caliber cannons are known for their unrivaled reliability and effectiveness. Building upon this proven technology, the M230 LF was created to be mounted on lightweight ground platforms, bringing the same firepower and versatility to ground applications. The M230 LF is capable of replacing 50 caliber machine guns on light platforms, enabling a transition from a suppressive weapon to a range of offensive missions. Advances in munition fuel technology also enable the M230 LF to effectively counter unmanned aircraft systems. Northrop Grumman is producing a 30mm by 113mm high-explosive proximity round that detects and detonates in the proximity of a drone, defeating the threat without having to make a direct hit, explains McCollum. If the round doesn't detect a target during flight, it self-destructs in the air at maximum range, protecting those on the ground. This makes the M230 LF, used in conjunction with proximity ammunition, ideal for use against unmanned aerial threats. The M230 LF earned its name by transitioning to a link fed system, which ultimately reduces the space claim and eases integration. The barrel of the M230 LF was lengthened to regain muzzle velocity lost by lack of altitude and to add gun stability to lower the recoil force. The addition of a critical anti-hang fire safety mechanism to the gun increases the protection of the M230 LF operators, who often sit very close to the gun. Today, the M230 LF is deployed on a variety of international and U.S. military manned vehicles, including joint light -like tactical vehicles, striker vehicles, and mine-resistant all-terrain vehicles. The M230 LF was adopted by the Army as XM914 to support their M-Showrad program, 
and is under contract to support the U.S. Marine Corps Mattis program. Striker A1M Shorad. On February 28, 2018, the U.S. Army announced that Striker vehicles would be modified with sensors and weapons to fulfill an interim maneuver short range air defense M. Shorad requirement. This is in response to a capability gap identified in Europe against Russian UAVs. In June 2018, the Army chose Leonardo DRS to supply the mission equipment package, which partnered with Moog Incorporated to integrate the reconfigurable integrated weapons platform onto the vehicle. The system can be fitted with a Stinger pod and Longbow Hellfire missile rails and comes equipped with a 30mm M230 LF chain gun and the 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, as well as non-kinetic defeat capabilities and a RADA onboard multi-mission hemispheric radar. A turret can mount one four-shot Stinger pod or two Hellfire missiles on either side, and reloading of the M230LF and Stingers can be done through roof hatches giving partial protection. The system can act in a secondary anti-vehicle role, as the 30mm cannon is larger than the 25mm gun mounted on the M2 Bradley, and the Hellfire has greater range than tow missiles typically used by ground vehicles. Agnostic Gun Truck On April 4, 2023, the United States included counter-unmanned aerial system 30mm gun trucks as part of Ukraine's security assistance initiative funds during the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The Northrop Grumman Agnostic Gun Truck consists of an M230LF mounted on a civilian pickup truck. Three battery sets each, including three gun trucks and one mobile acquisition, queuing, and effector M -Ace system, M-Ace incorporates a mix of mass-mounted 3D radar with drone detection to 10 kilometers, tracking and identification cameras and other electronic capabilities. M-Ace provides the ability to detect, identify, track, and defeat enemy UAs, said Rob Menti, Senior Manager for Business Development at Northrop Grumman Armament Systems. The system is able to provide a cue to the gun trucks that puts the gun directly on the target while maintaining a man-in-the-loop. This capability reduces the cognitive load on the operator as the target is put directly in their sight and they know that the UAS has been determined to be a threat. Kinetic counter drone capabilities are optimized through the new 30 by 113 mm M1211 high explosive proximity self-destruct round. Firing demonstrations in October 2021 showed the effectiveness of the truck firing the new round against a range of challenging unmanned aerial system profiles that included Class 2 plus drones moving at speeds exceeding 30 km per hour laterally from the firing location. The original intent was to provide the systems on Humvees, however issues of availability and a desire for rapid fielding resulted in an initial Ukrainian configuration on the Ford F-250. U.S. Marine Corps Marine Air Defense Integrated System Mattis. The Mattis is part of the U.S. Marine Corps' push to upgrade its ground-based air defense systems, including dismounted Stinger missiles and vehicle-based radars. The Kongsberg RS-6 remote weapon station for Mattis includes the XM914E1 30mm percussion-primed cannon with a coaxial M240C machine gun, an integration kit for the Stinger air-to-air -air launcher, and provisions for future counter-UAS defeat systems. The first 30mm remote weapon system to be qualified on the JLTV Mattis RWS mounts on JLTVs and fights as a complementary pair designated as Mark I and Mark II. The Mattis Mark I features Stinger missiles and neutralizes fixed and rotary wing aircraft. Mark II fulfills the counter UAS mission requirement while also providing radar and command and control for the pair. The Marine Corps is leaning forward with orders for long lead items to prioritize the timely production of these systems in support of Force Design 2030, Mattis Project Manager at Kongsberg Protect Systems USA, William Dixon said. As we enter full rate production for these remote weapon stations, we're also discussing additional technology we can incorporate into the system to improve and expand their capabilities for the Marines.